The Ender Dragon is dead. Yo, holy shit, he dead! And of course, with that, we have full freedom. I have an Elytra here, as you can see. I got it in an I got it in the previous episode. However, clearly our freedom is directly correlated to the amount of bottle rockets that we have. And sadly, I'm not sitting very well on the on these. I don't have a mob farm. I don't have a sugarcane farm or anything to keep up with the bottle rockets so this is exactly what i'm gonna try to be tackling in today's episode you beautiful you thank you so much for tuning in if my audio sounds any weird that's because uh, i had to remove a bunch of stuff from this room because it's being painted right now uh, with the room empty it has a lot more <laughs> it has a lot more room for echo so if the audio sounds any different, um, I tried compensating. I tried compensating for it by just you know speaking closer to, to the microphone. But I, well, I hope it sounds okay. However, the first thing that I still need to do, I gotta go back to the end because I need to link a Nether portal right to the right to the end entrance. And I fancy myself some obsidian because obsidian is kind of hard to come by and I want to take out at the very least half of a tower. Uh, so that's going to be fun. And by fun, I mean very lengthy and tedious. And also, I'm thinking maybe we could jam pack a uh, cobblestone generator still in this episode because I want to pretty much fill myself in a redstone shulker box. That's pretty much all that I want. However, to make you know, observers and to make pistons and some other very valuable components, I'm going to need a lot of cobble. So maybe, just maybe... <sighs> mm, you smell nice, by the way. Maybe, just maybe, we could tackle a cobblestone generator still in this episode we'll see we'll see because you know i don't i don't want to i don't want to try and i don't want to cut the episodes so much that you know it just feels like i try to jam pack 15 days worth of minecraft in like 30 minutes so well we'll see about that right okay so this portal right here links directly to the uh entrance to the end however I'm not really sure where I am in relation to my original portal. I see my stuff in there because, you know, that's that's not normal. I know that I made that. I just got to orient myself. There's more stuff in there, too. Um, I just got to orient myself, but I got to move this portal to make sure that it's perfectly linked. So we got to, you know, get the coordinates, make some math. And as soon as this is ready, I'll come back right with you. Uh, well, let's hope I don't, you know, make wrong stuff and then just ruin this portal here. And then when I'm trying to put another portal somewhere, it's going to go awry and all of that good stuff. But I mean, I mean, I gotta trust my math, right? Once in a while. All right, the portal is just a teeny tiny little bit offset. It was right there. I removed it and I relocated it over here. Now, let's see if I didn't do any goofs. And the answer to that is... The answer to that is that I am a bloody genius. I know how to multiply by 8, and I know how to divide by 8. Look at that. L look at me, making big boy smart stuff. There is still only one problem though. I'm in the middle of a basalt... Um, in the middle of a basalt uh, biome. And the point of doing this is so that from my original portal that is about over here I'm looking right now needs to connect to this one. And if that can't happen, then there's no point in connecting this portal at all. So I'm gonna have to dig through a place that is full of lava pockets, as you can see right there. And, well, try not to die. That's gonna be fun, boys. That's gonna be so good. I'm gonna love this Minecraft experience at its fullest. Yes. Oh, I broke something without looking. That could that could have been bad, like immediately bad. All right, and easy like that. I can see my portal already. <laughs> that wasn't actually that wasn't that bad. 
And I mean, I managed to fill my uh, pockets with some extra materials as well. I mean, I do plan on farm a lot of those in uh, in here anyway. So, uh, I mean, it was an unexpected mining mission. So, with that out of the way, now we can actually go farm the obsidian that I was set out to get. And, uh, well, let's go do that. Oh boy, here we go. I had fun not collecting all of this obsidian right here. I went all the, I went from there to here and that's what I've got to show for. I don't have it in me to collect any like a singular piece of obsidian anymore. There's only one more thing to do now actually. And let's see if I can do that. Hang on and yes. <laughs> next generation baby let's go okay now the thing is okay the dragon egg is finally mine i will make a nice pretty pedestal to put right in the center of my building as the greatest trophy ever there is only one issue i'm not entirely sure what if all of this obsidian here is gonna be enough and you might be questioning yourself whoa felix my good boy why exactly do you need it this much obsidian? Well, let me tell you. Well, you don't have to worry your pretty little head about it because that's for later. I'm four parallel universes ahead of you, boy. Right, boys, you don't tell nobody, but I am sneaking around in this bastion right here and I found a chest. Apparently, they have soul speed three. Shh, don't tell anyone. Alright, in my adventures to try and find more light sources, I actually ended up finding a pretty neat soul sand biome alongside another bastion. So I'm thinking, can I maybe perhaps find me more, you know, ancient debris? I guess we're gonna have to go into another sneaky, sneaky time mission, boys. Let's go. Okay, I seem to be blending in with the uh, local folk very f nicely. Okay, you're not interested, right? Yeah, great. Good to know you're not interested. But then again, there's a gold block there. I kind of want that... G okay, you, you don't like me. Yeah. <gasps> don't do that. Thank you very much. Oh, he's coming for me. He's on to me. <laughs> Stop it. Oh my god, what a persistent little... Hmm, hang on. Yeah, I see. Okay, so if I do this to you, are they gonna take issue? Doesn't seem like they do. Oh, well, dead. Perfect. Single shot. Perfect. Place is so dangerous. Place is so dead. It's a death hazard everywhere I look. Everywhere I look is death and death. Oh, there's a tiny one dying to magma blocks, I guess. Uh, poor little child. Poor little pig child. I hope I don't attract attention, right? Okay, let's just do this here and hopefully... No, don't do that, my guy. Mm -mm. Okay, you know what? Fine. Alright, if that's the case, then full armor. Let's go. Let's see, who wants some? You? Okay, there you go, dead. Full armor now, boys. Well, I mean, since I'm not sneaking anymore... Oh, actually, I'm too close to an edge. I shouldn't be doing that. Go, go, you all, well, speaking of the devil, oh, here we go, oh, bro, yes, okay, I'll, I'll be taking all of this, this is the golden chest right here, god damn, that was good, ooh, 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 okay, okay, and, okay, Grand Obsidian, what's that, banner pattern, snout, oh, I actually want that, I, yeah, I'll, I'll take it, thank you, I was about to leave, I was about to leave, and then I penned over, and I see a pyramid of gold. Hell, game. Good map. Now, mind if I do. Wouldn't it be funny if this was like rigged to blow if anybody touches it? I think that will be f absolutely hilarious. Ooh! Ho 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 ho! Sneaky! Sneaky! Hmm? Okay, so it seems like there was nothing else in particular that was like super good in there. So I am just gonna go back now. 
and it was actually kind of fun. I never done one of these places, and it it feels nice to actually explore a little bit better because ever since the Nether got updated, I never really come about to you know to okay that was scary. Anyway, I'll be with you shortly. Hang on, let me get out of this situation. All right, all that we need to do now is to choose ourselves the location for our creeper farm so that I can start getting more bottle rockets because, you know, supply my uh, vary from time to time and I think I'm gonna choose an area that is way over that way of the pumpkin because there is a plains biome in there and with that said, pretty much the most of the areas are flattened down for me. So all that I'm going to have to do really is to dig all the way down to bedrock and start making the farm. And of course doing some uh, light up job, you know, uh, on the cave, on the caverns around to make sure that I get the best rates. But that's not going to be terribly difficult because I'm going to, yeah, I was here trying to get more bee, beehives the other day. <laughs> you can see my bed's still here. So I'm thinking about transforming this area pretty much into my uh, industrial district and just make like a bunch of farms in here. Not, not all the mob farms because they can't be like side by side, but... I feel like like a creeper farm and then a sugarcane farm, a pumpkin and melon farm and you know stuff that won't conflict with one another. Later on I'm gonna use my uh, my other account, well it's not my other account, it's my friend's account, he's just been uh, borrowing to me, it's, which is really nice of him. Um, to you know go into a spectator mode and check around to see if there is any caverns and unlit places, pretty much to guide me around the uh, the cave systems around here to do a bang up lighting job around. I hate saying the word lighting job. I'm going to call this uh, a illumination. Yes, that sounds badass. Illumination job. Hmm, I like saying that. All right, let's crack onto it, shall we? Alrighty, this spot has been picked and I have here, hopefully, all of the ingredients that I might need. A lot of glass, trapdoors, uh, soak campfire so that I can kill the, the creepers very fast, some extra soul sand to make bubble vaders, and, you know, some extra building blocks just in case, some uh, coal and sticks to make torches to light up caves, and even more lanterns to maybe, you know, put some lighting around this area as well. Now, the thing is, it's kind of tedious to dig a hole with uh, without a beacon, and I don't have a beacon yet. So I won't bother you showing you the details. I won't bother making a time lapse. I'm just gonna make a few, you know, uh, a few jump cuts here and there, because probably if I were if I was to try and record the whole process of digging that hole without a beacon, even the time lapse would look horrendous. Okay, so I'll be with you when I've got something. All right, somehow I lost my uh, Fortune 3 pickaxe, gonna have to buy me a new one. And you know, the enchantments and all of that good stuff, so give me a second. Oh boy, why am I like this? How, how did I, how, how can I lose an entire pickaxe? And the Shining Finder. That sounds, that sounds like an appropriate name. There we go, the Shiny Finder. Now. Please, me. Look at me in the eye. Look at me in the eyes, me. Don't lose this one. Yep, just about what you expect. No beacon. Kind of tedious. Kind of tedious. Hold that again. Uh, uh, at some point, it's going to be more of a how long can I endure digging this massive hole without using any piece of TNT. But you know. I don't have the gunpowder that I'm trying to make with this farm to make the TNT to make this farm. It's a it's a it's an infinite loop of need more stuff. All right, almost there, almost there. Oof, boy, look at this, look at this big hole in the ground. Ah, just a couple more layers and <laughs> and I'm gonna be done with digging this hole. Boy, I need. Uh, I need a beacon, like now, desperately. I need haste too. And um, 
I think one of the one of the things that we're going to try to tackle in the next episodes are some form of a nether farm. And I'm thinking, I'm really seriously thinking about making that gigantic Nembom farm that produces pretty much everything the nether has to offer. Which, uh, I'm going to have to find a pretty good nether fortress for it because there's no way I'm placing like hundreds of thousands of buttons or slabs to mod proof the area. So I'm going to have to find a nether fortress almost in the middle of a lava lake. Boy, okay, I'll be back with you in a second. And there we have it. Okay, here we go. All the way from whatever the height that is to bedrock. Um, now I'm going to uh, build the uh, collection system a little bit above the bedrock, of course. But since we are at bedrock, that means the spawn rate of this farm are going to be, well, as good as they will ever be. Uh, assuming, of course, that I don't have too many more caves to light up around, and then, and then after we're done with this, of course, I'm gonna test it out, see if it's working just fine, and of course, build myself a nice sugarcane farm for paper so I can get rockets, and then I'm probably gonna be done. But right now, I'm all dirty and you know sweaty from all this digging, and I probably need a shower. Ah, here we go. Best shower ever. Very nice. Very pleasant. So, I'm not even kidding. Oops. So, I wasn't even kidding. I actually took a break and went to take a legit shower after that. And I'm um, telling you, it's so warm in my room that I had to make myself an ice throne to sit on. <laughs> oh, I mean, I might still be miserable. Absolutely miserable in my room because it's so hot. But my Minecraft character has a nice cold tushy right now. Mm, feels really good in here. Feels really good. All right, finally, 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 jungle saplings. There you go. I saw this guy here. I flew all the way over to my base just to grab myself a couple of emeralds so that I could do this. So, here we go. Here we go. Beautiful. I was actually in need of these. I'm not kidding. I was actually in need of these. This guy right here. What a champ. Uh, trap doors, trap doors, trap doors, and more trap doors. Holy shit. This is by far the most tedious part, even though digging the hole was pretty tedious. This is by far possibly the least enjoyable part of building this farm. All right, and here we have it. As you can see, I'm right underneath everything, almost near bedrock. I'm at, I am at, at seven height here, and I have almost everything set up. The, um, you know, the system here that is going to take out the items is ready. Just that thing, simple like that. Just gonna grab everything and make and shoot it all over. The bubble vader is ready. It's right there, ready to intake any items I, I shoot out of these things. And now all that I need to do is to place in the roof and then go into spectator mode with my uh with another account my friend's account that he borrowed me and then check around to see if there's any more you know <clears throat> illumination job that i still need to be done uh and then after that i'm pretty much done i'm done just gotta enjoy my creeper farm and i think it's gonna be awesome i'm counting with my ability that i actually set up everything correctly and didn't miss a single little thing but for now, I gotta finish just this, like, just the roof here, and then I am set up. Get out of here. Get out of here, Riff Raff. The audacity, the audacity. Like, doesn't, doesn't he know who I am? Like, look at me, I'm diamond, I'm, I'm all diamond out, and the guy just approaches me like nothing's gonna happen. All right, everybody, let's see. This is the moment of truth. If I press this note block, will I see water in all layers? That's a good sign. Okay, torches are going all the way out. Ooh, okay, I can, see the, I can see the water right from here. There it is, all the way through. Nice, that's perfect. Now, if I press this button again, the water turns off. There we go, perfect. Perfecto. 
Now on to make a little clock, I'm going to of course extend the signal all the way up so you know whenever I want to turn it on and off it's going to be on the surface for me for you know convenience sake of course right. Okay everything is now set up you can see right there my little clock, <laughs> little, In anyway it's all functioning now I already generated some gunpowder as well right here as you can see and um, I did it somewhat of an okay job lighting up caves around it's kind of hard to do really arguments are that there are better places to do this than you know here but i wanted to do it here anyways so right now i'm going to afk at this place for a little while and then in the morning we'll see if i have two chests of the of gunpowder if i have two chests of gunpowder by the morning i'll be happy enough and for now this is gonna suffice as far as gunpowder really goes but i will make it bigger don't worry i'm gonna pretty much link the whole storage in this area it's gonna be nice beautiful and all centralized you don't have to worry your pretty little head about that so i'll see you back in the morning yep it does seem to be working and after a very exhaustive very very exhaustive uh no job here lighting up every single cave that I could find my hands on. I'm, I'm with my spectator account here, uh, you know, and using the spe spectator account as guide and, you know, adjusting the height that my platform, my FK platform should be and all that. Finally, I have some pretty promising results because my AFK session overnight didn't yield as many. And well, A, the caves needed a little bit more uh, attention and the AFK platform was not in the, <laughs> was not in the right position. But look at this, look how many creepers I'm spawning. This is amazing. <sighs> so the AFK session was a little bit not, you know, that fruitful because uh, I had the platform set up in the wrong height. The, you know the area and the caves around it wasn't properly lit but now it's actually doing much much better and i wanted to tackle you know the uh sugarcane farm in this uh episode but i'm all out of time so i'm so sorry for that but i'll be but i'll get on to that right in the next episode maybe I even tackle like a you know another farm like you know maybe a pumpkin melon so i can trade with my villagers but for the time being you beautiful you thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed please do subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on new uploads like this video if you enjoyed also in case you feel like supporting the channel even further i have a page called buy me a coffee it's like a patreon type page you can donate people some money and if you feel like supporting the channel i'll appreciate you very much and i hope i'll be seeing you beautiful you in the next video. Bye-bye.